Hey guys, this is my first video of this kind. This video is not a how-to, but I will go over what I did in order to get EPAS working in my Civic. You can see the power steering in operation here. In my opinion, Prius unit provides just enough assist for this car. It provides just enough assist to turn the steering wheel with one hand. This is the unit I use for the retrofit. It's 2004 to 2009 Toyota Prius EPAS. I used all of the parts in this picture, both upper and lower shaft of EPAS, pivoting mount on the EPAS, and also the control module. Here is the lower shaft of the Prius column. The Prius U-joint bolts directly onto DC2 pinion shaft. Lower shaft length is just about perfect as is and slightly adjustable where the U-joint bolts onto. Because I have the EPAS unit clocked slightly different than the original configuration, I had to weld on an extra tab onto the Prius pivot mount. Here are the parts list to make the steering column a almost a bolt-on. Zero cutting of steering column as long as you have EK S2000 RSX EP3 style steering wheel, EK combination switch bracket, EK clock spring, DC2 Integra power rack. shaft. Most of the EPAS retrofit you see online requires you to cut both upper and lower steering wheel shaft and weld them together on the EPAS unit. But I was able to mix and match parts so there is no steering shaft cutting and welding involved. This also means collapsible steering column will function even after the swap. Not to mention that there is zero chance of weld failing or any steering shaft alignment issues. Of course, there are some downside to this as well. One thing you lose is the steering column locking mechanism. Because I'm not using the Civic steering column, there is no way to integrate the factory steering column lock from ignition switch assembly. Also, Prius never had the steering column locking mechanism from the factory. I'm using the EK combination switch and clock spring because of the RSX steering wheel. RSX steering wheel I'm using has the same spline as the Prius. I had to enlarge the steering wheel hub using 3 quarter inch bit. This helps steering wheel to sit further into the spline and have more bite on the locking nut. Everything is bolted up and I'm here trying to turn the steering wheel without the EPAS active. With the car being parked, it's pretty difficult to turn the steering wheel. With the power steering active, it's a breeze. One thing I didn't mention was the return to center ability. After a turn or a tight U-turn, currently my steering wheel doesn't return to the center, but I'm hoping it gets better with the proper alignment. I hope you guys found this useful.